Well, given the demographics of our region and the growing need here for scientists and engineers, we can't hope to attract enough of them to fill all the jobs that are going to be created or opening up here in the next few years. We're going to have to educate them, too. And in Westmoreland County, Pennsylvania, the Dairy Area School District has been attracting national attention for its efforts to engage in ongoing learning at all levels of math and science. The high school turned up in U.S. News & World Report as one of the best public high schools in America. And Roberta Coons mccann is the superintendent and the winner of a 2009 Carnegie Science Award. And congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's a great, a great recognition for what you've been, been doing in Derry. We are so proud of the fact that we were, that we received the recognition. When you look at the outsta outstanding school districts in the county and the state, we feel very, very privileged to well, have been recognized. And, and they really, in particular, looking at how you're handling math and science. And this is really a, a relatively new approach, K through 12. Yes, it is. So how do you go about it? What's different in Derry? I think what's different in Derry is the fact that even though we are rural, suburban we do have a very diverse population and that diversity is in the the learning needs of our students so we need to do whatever we can to make sure that they're excited about learning and can grasp the concepts so probably about five years ago we became involved in the Carnegie Science Center's National Science Foundation grant program and our, our teachers received a tremendous amount of professional training in the area of inquiry as a best practice for teaching math and science. Our teachers embraced it. We've been implementing it starting in kindergarten with hands-on kits. Um, students learn about a concept and then they practice that concept, uh, real life application, and it, it moves, moves through the grade levels until we hit uh, the high school level where even our students with learning needs are in higher level biology, chemistry, physics classes and are excited about learning. Now how does this really differ from the way it was done before or the way many other schools do it? When I was in school you memorized an algorithm in mathematics and if you didn't have that left brain, that, uh, that ability to grasp those concepts in mathematics, you pretty much memorized them and forgot them. Hmm. Um, this is different because students actually dig deeper into the concepts. They truly understand the concepts before they move on to the next one. A lot of hands-on, a lot of communication, a lot of problem solving, and they're excited about it. They're learning something that they can build on, and, and that's exciting to them. That, well, that's, and so you, kindergarten, plant a seed, watch it grow, and then un understand what that's telling you. Absolutely. Where does a butterfly come from? Um, they do a lot with rocks and minerals, water, sand, uh, starting very early on. When we get into the, the uh, third, fourth, fifth grade level and middle school level, they're actually doing a lot of algebra. They're doing a lot of physics, even though they don't understand that that might be the um, the area that they're delving into but it, it's amazing what students can accomplish when they truly understand a concept and can build on that concept so it's not just like here are the facts but it's ask your own questions come to, to some degree to your own answer kind of an approach absolutely and the fact that there are multiple ways to solve problems mm -hmm. in both math and science and it's okay to think differently about something than someone else. That's okay, which is where a lot of the real breakthroughs ultimately come from. Absolutely. Now you get a sense, you've been at it for five years now, obviously you don't have a kindergartner who's graduated from high school yet, but is it making a difference? It absolutely is making a difference. If, if you use the world of PSSA, which is the, the standardized uh, measure of how students perform in math and science, our, our standard scores continue to rise. And even though our population is becoming more and more diverse, and more economically disadvantaged, our scores continue to rise. So we're, we're pretty much uh, beating the odds when it comes to what research says should happen. Well, that's really exciting. It's a great success story here in, here in our region, Real, really innovative. Dairy Area School District, winner of the Carnegie Science Award, Roberta McCann, thank you so much. Thank you very much. And we'll be back in a minute with a little dollars and cents. Stay with us.
If you're unemployed or looking for a change in your current employment, check out imaginemynewjob.com. It's a thoroughly searchable database that lets you see if there's a position that's just right for you. You can inquire against uh, type of job, location, pay, name of company. There's a whole range of search criteria that are available that you can enter, and then it'll list off all the jobs. More than 20,000 jobs are available right now and listed on imaginemynewjob.com, running the gamut from entry-level positions on up. Over half of those are 40,000 plus, hmm. so higher than the, the annual salary of the Pittsburgh region. So these are good jobs. It's huge what, what's out there. Tons and tons of opportunity. By harnessing the worldwide reach of the internet, imaginemynewjob.com spreads opportunity to live and work in our region everywhere. Got friends or family who you'd like to see move to our region? Well, tell them about imaginemynewjob.com. Be an ambassador for our region. Spread the word about how great it is to live here, work here, and all the great jobs we have. The future is bright here in the region, not only for jobs, but for, for uh, a family and, and, and your own personal quality of life. We're open for business, and we've got jobs here in Pittsburgh.